Planning and building cities is usually entrusted to the experts. But what about the people who might actually live here? What do they think it should look like? I imagine it to be a beautiful place. In the future cities, we're gonna have like floating cars, buildings, and much more uh, technology. Maybe we can like make an invention that can clean the ocean. Maybe children will be driving cars one day in the future. Turbines to speed! Hmm, I don't know about that one. But it's important to get these kids' perspectives. After all, they'll be living in the cities that are being planned today. This class is visiting Dubai's Expo, learning about technologies, innovations, and ideas that could increase our standard of living. All right, one, two, three. Expo! The things of these mega events have transformed our future. But what about the actual venues? Have they ever helped push us forward? You see across different expo sites, many issues around uh, vacant sites and unrealized dreams. Yikes. Dubai can't afford to let this space go to waste. The city is planning to nearly double its population in the next 20 years. So making good use of this area isn't just a must, but a moment to test future ways of living. الخطوات الوطنية للدولة للإمارة للمجالس التنفيذية راح تستمر والأكسبو راح يكون جزء لا يتجزأ من مدينة دبي ومن منظومة دولة الإمارات وراح نظل نحن في هذا المشروع متابعين المواضيع المتعلقة بالاستدامة متعلقة بالتنقل متعلقة بالفرص وهذه الثلاثة كانت محاور موضوعية لمشروع الأكسبو تواصل العقول وصنع المستقبل. In October, this site will reopen and be renamed District 2020, and up to 145,000 residents might call this place home. More than 85% of all the buildings you see is, and the infrastructure is actually staying. So we are not removing any of those buildings uh, after the Expo moves. Ahmed El Khatib uh, is the chief delivery officer at Expo. For nearly a decade, he's been responsible for planning and designing every detail on site. From the size and the shape of the buildings to the species of trees and flowers, and yes, even the benches. It actually it reflects an Arabic script. Our benches, actually, you can read them. The biggest challenge for Ahmed and his team wasn't designing a place for us to sit. It was creating a site that was smart, fun, but most importantly, sustainable for years to come. To do that, he had to achieve some pretty ambitious targets, or what experts call KPIs, Key Performance Indicators. We had like uh, about 41 KPIs on sustainability. I thought we would do half of it. We are so proud that we have achieved all our KPIs. And all our KPIs are actually uh, monitored by third parties and verified and certified. Uh, so our targets were achieved with very tangible results. Some of those results were ensuring the site had access to low carbon transport and efficient waste management solutions. By achieving these targets, Expo organizers believe District 2020 can be a test ground not just for the UAE, but for the 192 countries exhibiting here. And they seem to be on track with what kids think the future will hold. We need to start using things that will never run out. We need to start planting trees because we don't have much yeah, more trees. It's good for the world and like it gives us better oxygen. I think we can all agree that oxygen is a pretty important prerequisite for any city. But what will sustainable buildings look like and how will we move from A to B? Let's follow these students to see if District 2020 has the answers.